I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. In this video, we will be exploring evidence that proves that the first Americans were African. African empires in ancient America tells the story of the numerous African groups who colonized Mexico, North and South America. Today, most people believe that African people never voyaged outside of Africa except as slaves. This is false. The Dufana boat discovered in Nigeria dates back to 12,000 BC. And hundreds of ancient African boats have been engraved on rocks in the Sahara Desert. Boats from Megan, Egypt, and Meluha, Kush, East Africa are mentioned in the Sumerian cuneiform text. Evidence suggests that ancient Africans sailed to South America and Asia hundreds of years before the Europeans. This evidence debunks the propaganda that Europeans were the first to sail to the Americas. Many ancient societies in Africa built different types of boats, from small vessels to large ships that could carry up to 80 tons. Africans have a long tradition of sea exploration and founded many of the major American civilizations. Although many people have heard about the possible discovery of America by Mansu Abakari of the Mali Empire, and the giant Olmec heads of Mexico. This is also paired with a much earlier account of black people with incredible skills at sea. Back in 445 BC, the Greek historian Herodotus wrote of King Ramses III leading a team of Africans at sea with outstanding seafaring and navigational skills. Together, both accounts would point to Africans sailing over the New World before Columbus. In his book, African Empires in Ancient America, Dr. Clyde Winters gives a detailed account of the Malian colonies established by these Western Africans in North America and Brazil. You will discover the role of the Xi or Olmec people as the mother culture of Mexico. Dr. Winters outlines the Axumite discovery of America and the role of the Ethiopians in the rise of the Mochicha civilization and religion. In addition, this book discusses the ancient Sumerian influence in South America and the African role as mound builders in the United States. African Empires in Ancient America is the only book that finally explores the history of black colonization of the Americas before Columbus. It is a must read for anyone interested in a true history of America. For years, Eurocentric archaeologists have largely turned the other cheek when it came to the discovery of artifacts from ancient Egypt being discovered in the Americas. According to Dr. David Imhotep, the author behind the book The First Americans Were Africans, documented evidence Egyptian artifacts found across North America from the Algonquian writings on the east coast of the artifacts in Egyptian place names in the Grand Canyon are all signs of an early arrival in the Americas by Africans. The oldest human skull ever found in America is of a Paleo-Indian woman found in a cave in Brazil, South America. Obviously, she was not alone. Some archaeologists believe the young woman may have been part of the first wave of immigrants to South America. Nicknamed Luzia, her name pays homage to the famous African fossil Lucy who lived 3.2 million years ago, the 11,500-year-old skeleton was found in Lapa Vermilha, Brazil, in 1975. These are pictures of the Grand Canyon, which many people believe are the pyramids in the U.S.
The following, including this slide, shows the contents of the pyramids taken from the Grand Canyon, right here in the U.S. These are pictures taken from the pyramids found in the Grand Canyon, right here in the U.S. That area in the Grand Canyon is known as the Forbidden Zone. My question would be, if someone else other than Africans built the pyramids all over the world, why do the contents of the pyramids show predominantly black people? Well, the answer is because black people build the pyramids all over the world. The pyramids of the world were built by black people. The proof is in the pyramids. And you'll notice that the contents of all the pyramids around the world are very rarely shown. What are they hiding? Egyptian type pyramids right here in the US, which proves Africans were here thousands of years before anyone else. Pyramids build in Mexico. The pyramid mounds, which is the precursor to the pyramid in Mexico. And these mounds are scattered throughout the world, including the U.S., built by the pyramid builders themselves. Again, we see the mounds here in the U.S. There are even pyramids found in Antarctica. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Antarctica. Because of the global warming, the snow is melting, and you can see the tops of the pyramids begin to emerge. And these are clearly pyramids and not mountains. They have begun to emerge from the North and the South Poles. All over the planet, pyramids built by the pyramid builders. Further evidence of blacks in America long before anyone else can be found in the Pueblo Cliff Dwellings in Colorado. Now these dwellings, the Pueblo Cliff Dwellings, is now a tourist attraction in Colorado. These dwellings were built thousands upon thousands of years before anyone else populated this area. They were built by the Africans who settled here first. Now this is a picture of cliff dwellings found in Mali in Africa today. The exact same cave dwellings built by the Africans in Mali. Now what is the probability of the same exact buildings, the same exact architect built in Colorado as built in Mali, Africa? Built by the Africans in Mali and in Colorado. The same exact architect. Proof that the people who built the ones in Mali built the same ones in Colorado, in America. Further proof that Africans were there first. Now this is either proof or it's a strange coincidence that the same exact architectural design was built in Mali and in Colorado. One of the references that we use for the material in the making of this video is the book, The First Americans Were Africans. We encourage everyone, please do not take our word for anything. Please do the research yourself. Draw your own conclusions. The evidence is overwhelming. In this book, Dr. David N. Hoptep lays out 17 pieces of evidence to support his research. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art 
rich.